Hello there YouTube and welcome along to Steve's Coronavirus Updates. Yeah, that's right, I'm back with another Coronavirus Updates again. Um, in this video specifically, I do kind of want to talk a little bit about the lockdown tiers and Matt Hancock. That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. It isn't going to be a very long ranty video um but you know i just thought you know it's time for me to talk briefly about my thoughts on some of the things that have been happening with this goddamn pandemic um <laughs> over the last week or so since i last did a coronavirus update for my youtube view uh youtube viewers so of course i want to start off with matt hancock and it's just very brief to be honest this is um, Matt Hancock, over the last few days, at the time of recording this video, has been pictured by paparazzi uh, getting into a car, being chauffeured by someone, and guess what? He's not wearing a face covering. That's right. Uh, you know, I mean, this is the rules, you know? You get into someone's car, you're supposed to wear a face covering when you're in someone's car who is not in the same household as you. You know, the rules are very simple. You know, if you don't live with someone, but you get into their car if they drive, then you get in their car, you put a face mask on, you keep the face mask on over your nose and your mouth until you leave the person's car. But at the same time, to also help, you also need to have the windows down a little tiny bit, just so then there's air ventilating around the car. Even though you've got your face mask on, but those are the rules, they have been the rules for a very, very long time. So, anyway, Matt Hancock has been pictured over the last few days without wearing a face covering in a chauffeured car. Now, I don't understand why he decided not to wear a face mask, you know. To be honest with you, this was a few days ago, he hasn't, I haven't seen any news stories in the news, you know, about him apologizing for the for the error that he that he's that he's done you know i i just don't understand it i really don't you know it's one rule for us the british public but yet public figures like the health secretary matt hancock you know and other other ministers in the government they seem to think well it's okay those rules do not apply to us yes they do because like us, you are still part of the British public, uh, public, you know, so it shouldn't be one rule for us, one rule for you, it should be one rule for us, and the same rules for you too, you know, it should be, it really should be, you know, we shouldn't be having all this backlash on social media and via newspaper outlets and stuff like that, because you know, a government minister has broken a rule or anything like that, you know? I mean, literally, it, the rules are very simple, and the fact that the government are there providing us with rules on how to stay safe in a pandemic and how we can, you know, decrease our chances of catching COVID, you know, especially right now, whilst at the time recording this video, we're going through a second wave of COVID-19 here in the UK. You know, I just, I just don't understand it. I really don't why they would be giving out all this advice to the public. But yet, they want to risk their lives, you know, by breaking the rules, pretty much. You know? Um, I mean, it's their life, you know. I mean, if they lose their life to COVID, then in the afterlife, I guess it's... They've got themselves to blame, really, haven't they? But, you know, at the end of the day, like us, they should be protecting themselves, you know? Like, we're protecting ourselves when we go out shopping, when we get on a bus, when we get on a train, or any sort of form of public transport, you know? So, I mean, I, I really don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Matt Hancock thinks he can just do whatever he wants, like all the other government ministers out there, because he's part of the government, and they can get away with absolutely anything. They're not going to get fined, you know, or anything like that. Um, so, yeah. 
that's pretty much it. Now, obviously, I only, like I say, wanted to briefly talk about that, so I'm now going to move on to the next thing that I want to talk about, which is Lockdown Tears. Now, this is a new thing that has recently been introduced by the government and the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, uh, of course, so there is three tiers. There are three tiers, right? So you've got Lockdown Tier 1, which is basically you follow the rule of six, and obviously there's the 10pm curfew in pubs, bars and restaurants. Then you've got Tier 2, which is basically where you cannot mix with people indoors, in indoor settings. Uh, so that's like in other households, in pubs, bars, restaurants, and stuff like that. And then you've got the strictest of the tiers of all, really. Because then you've got Lockdown Tier 3. Now, Lockdown Tier 3 is basically where pubs, bars, restaurants, gyms, casinos, all these various places all shut down. People cannot mix in indoor settings or outdoor settings as well. So basically, it is kind of like lockdown, like it was for the whole entire UK back in March, pretty much. That's what lockdown tier 3 is. Now, there are various areas of the country here in the UK that have actually got lockdown tier 3 in place. South Yorkshire... Manchester, um, Liverpool, and various various other places around the northern area of England are currently facing lockdown tier 3. Now, there are also areas in the UK which are also facing lockdown tier 2. Luckily, where I am here in the UK, I live along the south coast of the UK, um, Obviously, for those who regularly watch my YouTube channel, you see I live in Dorset in the UK. So, we are currently in lockdown tier 1 at the time of recording this video. But that could change at any time, just like any other area in the UK where their lockdown tier could change. But, I mean, this is the thing, is Boris was saying recently in a press conference that... These restrictions are working, and that the rate of infection is starting to decrease slightly. Now, to be honest with you, if I look back at some of the statistics from the, um, this last week, especially a couple of days ago at the time of recording this video, on, uh, when was it, Wednesday the 21st of October 2020, you had 26,500 confirmed coronavirus cases in the UK. That is the highest amount of cases recorded in the UK in the space of 24 hours since the beginning of this pandemic. Now, for Boris to turn around and say in a recent press conference that these restrictions are working, I don't think they are. I really don't think they are, because if they really were working, then we wouldn't be seeing cases soaring way above 20,000 a day, or even over 25,000 plus cases a day, you know? I mean, the death toll, again, is soaring. We've seen over 100 deaths now. We're nearly on the verge of having 200 daily deaths a day, which, again, is really worrying, you know, because if we look back at March this year, when COVID first started, in the UK, we had over 600, 700, possibly nearly a thousand daily deaths, you know, and the last thing we want in the UK is for those daily death tolls to be going back up to those sort of figures again, you know, I mean, it's bad enough that we are in the second wave right now, it is bad enough that, you know, we are seeing over 25,000 plus cases a day, you know, and it is bad enough that quite a lot of us uh, can't go out and see friends and family and stuff like that because obviously we, you know, we may have various people in our lives who are vulnerable to getting the virus and obviously we need to do as much as we possibly can to protect those 
vulnerable people that we have in our lives, you know, loved ones and friends and family and, uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, the lockdown tears, in, in my point of view, isn't working at all. And you've got various other areas uh, of this country, like Northern Ireland, like Wales, like Scotland, who are now starting to introduce circuit breaker lockdowns. And this is basically where they go into a kind of national lockdown where everything closes down for two to three weeks, just so that then those areas of, of the country can kind of bring their COVID cases back down. And to be honest with you, with half term now approaching, with kids being off school for the next week, I can't see why now wouldn't be a perfect time for Boris just to announce that we're going to do exactly the same as what Wales has done, as what Scotland have done, as to what Northern Ireland's done, which is go into a circuit breaker lockdown and obviously just so that then we can curb the virus, you know, and then, you know, of then and then of course then all these various um, areas of the country can then come out of their tears. I mean, this is the other thing is Boris has addressed this week really. He was he was asked, he was urged by Keir Starmer this week during um, during PMQs on Wednesday the 21st of October 2020. He was urged by Keir Starmer to answer the question. How do you plan on getting um, the these areas of the country out of their lockdown tiers in terms of like Liverpool and Manchester and South Yorkshire, which are currently in the highest, uh, strictest restrictions going in the country? And Boris really failed to answer that question. He, you know, he said the only thing we can do right now is to try and bring that R rate down below one you know, or between one or below one. Now, to be honest with you, that doesn't really say a lot, does it? That's not really um, telling, you know, the, the, the MPs in the House of Commons how you plan to get these areas out of their tears, you know? I mean, with Liverpool and Manchester and South Yorkshire, for example, you know, they're in tier three right now. So is it going to be the case that in around about three or four weeks time, they come out of tier three and then go into tier two lockdown. And then in about another three or four weeks time, they then come into tier one lockdown. You know, is that how the process is going to be? I mean, this is the thing is, you know, where do we go? Where do these areas come out of lockdown? How do these areas come out of lockdown? You know, especially the ones with the strictest of restrictions in place. You know, these questions do need to be answered and they need to be answered sooner rather than later, to be honest. But of course, this is Boris. He isn't going to answer these questions anytime soon, I don't think. And to be honest with you, this is in my point of view right now, I don't think he has the foggiest idea as to how to get these areas out of their lockdowns. It's okay for him to put these lockdowns in place, but he has not got the foggiest idea as to how he's going to get these areas out of their lockdowns, you know? And that is the very harsh reality of it right now, you know? And to be honest, it is very sad for, for people like Liver for people that are living in places like Liverpool and Manchester and stuff like that, where right now they have no idea, they cannot plan anything for the next month, or, yeah, right now, I know that at the time we're calling this, we're still in October, but, you know, by the time they come out of Tier 3 lockdown, it could be end of November, then they'd need to start planning for Christmas, you know, but the thing is, is if Boris doesn't announce sooner rather or later how he plans to get these areas out of Tier 3 lockdown, then they can't really... Go, go along and start planning out Christmas. How are they going to celebrate Christmas with close ones, you know, with their friends and family, you know? Is it going to be the case of, by this Christmas, we're going to have to do it all digitally, where we literally have a video chat and have our Christmas dinner and chats and laughters and stuff via video calls this Christmas? 
Yeah, I mean, this is the thing. No one really knows right now. They really don't. And, you know, and I do hope and pray that this does get sorted sooner rather than later, to be honest. I really do. Anyway, um, apart from that, really, I think that's all that I wanted to talk about in this YouTube video. Um, that's all really I wanted to kind of rant and talk to you guys about in uh, today's coronavirus update but uh, thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up uh, and if you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel and you are a new viewer then please hit the subscribe button down below i would very much appreciate that a lot and if you would like to leave your opinions on anything that i've talked about in today's coronavirus update then you may please leave a comment down below I will uh, always make the time to read your comments and of course as always I do appreciate your uh, your support out there uh, for watching these videos and for finding them very very informative too. Anyway that is all from me so thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video but from me goodbye thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next YouTube video.